Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have seen how we can install React Navigation and in React Navigation, how we can work on a Stack Navigation. So I did Stack Navigation. In this way, I just click on a screen 2. From the home screen, I just went to screen 1. From screen 1, I went to screen 2. Now, in that video, I did not explain you how you can send information from one screen to another. I just explained how we can navigate from one screen to another. So in this video, we are going to do some modification and we are going to pass some information from this home screen. I am on home screen. From this home screen, I want to pass some data to screen 1. And again from the screen 1, I can pass some data to screen 2. So how we can do this that we are going to learn. So remember that in the screen, we create the stack type, screen type and we mention here that we are uh, not using any value we are not passing any value that's why i mention here undefined but here now i want to mention in from screen one i want to send some information so i say that information is a message that is of a string type this message i want to pass from home screen to screen one remember that from screen one to the from the home screen this home screen is open here from this home screen i want to send data to this screen one so I am mentioning here that screen 1 will have this extra parameter also. So I go to home screen, you see we have an error. It mentioning that we have to assign one more parameter of message type that is string is there. So I make comma here and here in this object I say message and I say this is, you see, this is how you can say data from home screen, okay. So this data is coming from home screen. So I save this and do formatting. So this data I am passing to the screen 1. So I go to the screen 1 because this screen 1 will read the data. So here for reading a data I need a route. So I create a route here. Remember from this route I need this information. So I create one more constant and I say message I want to read from the route dot param. So from this I will have the parameter. I do formatting and save this. So this parameter which I am passing from screen from home screen the name is msg that parameter will go to screen 1 and here I am going to read this so I create here a text field and here I pass uh, the message so I say message which you are sending is msg like this this message I am explaining here and this text so I can do uh, formatting I say style equal to uh, I say style dot message this message formatting I want to do again so I make copy of this and I do like this and I change this to message remember save this so that will also bold and 30 size so I can do size formatting I say I need 20 size of this message remember that now I am on home screen I click go to screen 1 and from the home screen I am passing this information this is data from home screen remember that this data is coming to screen 1 suppose again you want to send data from screen 1 to screen 2 like this I open this and I am on screen 2 but here I don't have any data I want to send data to screen 2 also so I can send data from screen 1 to screen 2 so for that again in the type we have to mention that I want to send some information I say info I want to send of a string type so I mention here a string type that means this screen 2 will have a parameter like this so directly I go to screen 1 remember that I am going to screen 2 so that's why it's saying an error you need to pass some value so again I need to create an object I say info and I say here this uh, information is from screen 1 okay save this do formatting and remember that uh, i am passing information from screen 1 to screen 2 so that's why at screen 2 i need to read this so again i need here uh, that parameter which we am going to read so i need here navigator routes so for that i create type here so i say type i say props type remember and here i say native stack screen props native stack 
screen props that I need and here I need to import this also this I need to import the stack screen so I need to uh, import stack screen also so for that uh, what I do I do import stack screen like this and I need to mention this stack screen here and I need to mention the 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 screen 2 also because screen 2 I need to pass here that I'm going to read and because this string because this uh, screen 2 uh, the parameter and type will come here so here I use props remember there I use props here and here I mention props type props type like this now I need routes because I want to read the uh, the message or the parameter which is passing from this screen 1 to screen 2 so that's why I need the const here and I need to uh, read the routes so I say routes I am not taking here uh, navigator because navigation is not required here so I say props so with the props I need this this routes and with the help of routes I need to get information so I say info and I say route dot prom and I save this format this so information I have and just down this I can display this information just below screen 2 and I say info I say info here and you see that we have a heading so I say that we have info and again I can make formatting of this CSS and I say info in place of heading and in place of size uh, uh, 30 I say size should be 20 save this remember this that we read this screen we read the parameter also roots also everything we reads now you see once again I go to home screen from the home screen I am going to screen 1 and I am passing some information as a message then I click on go to screen 2 from the screen 1 then I am passing the information so this information is coming here you see this information is coming here so from the home screen we are passing some information to screen 1 like this from the screen 1 we are passing some information to screen 2 like this vice versa we can also do we can send some information from screen 2 to screen 1 or from screen 2 from screen 1 to home screen from home to screen 2 anything we can do just remember that we have to specify here the type of message you are going to pass then we have to read this information as a type here like this way again in screen 1 we have to read this way then we have to specify the property by passing this we can read navigation and routes also from this if we don't do this then we would not be able to fetch the property navigation and route because of this navigation and route we are able to go to next screen and we are able to get the information from the home screen to here so that is must that we have to learn so i explain you how you can transfer data from one particular screen to another screen in react native with typescript under stack navigation in next video i will explain different different methods available like replace pop pop to top and uh, go back push pop so many functions are here that i will explain in detail in next video after that i will also explain the custom header then tab navigation then top tab navigation then drawer everything which is required to learn in react navigation that i'm going to make video on that also so i think in this video you learn how to pass the data from one screen to another if you learn please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.